welcome back to my channel. Today, after a very long time, we are going to start another topic of evolutionary biology that is speciation. Before understanding what is speciation, let's understand the term that is came from that is what is pest. So what is speciation? Before that, we are going to understand what is pest. Species is nothing but the basic unit of taxonomy. It's a basic unit or you can say that is the smallest unit of taxonomy. And if you want to uh, define what a species, species is a group of individuals which interbreed among themselves and are reproductively isolated from other groups. The terms which I am using here about species is inter, they interbreed among themselves. Okay, and another term which I have used that is they are reproductively isolated. What does these two terms mean? Interbreed among themselves means suppose there is species A and another there is species B. So the members or the individuals of species A will interbreed among this species A only. They will never interbreed with species B because these two are totally different category. Let's say for example the species of cat and species of dog. The species of cat will breed among themselves only and will not be with the species of dog. So this type of thing is known as reproductive isolation. There is one very good chapter that is isolation which we will be dealing in some other talk, in some other class that is isolation chapter. You will see different types of isolation in which one species is separating from other species due to various reasons. So one of the reason is reproductive isolation that is species A or the species B or let's say any species they do not interbreed with another species they will interbreed among themselves only and that's why they are known as reproductive isolation. This is the core definition of species and if we see according to the taxonomical hierarchy why are termed this as a smallest unit hierarchy for the topmost is the kingdom then comes the phylum, then comes the class, order, genus and the last and the smallest unit is the species. So group of species forms the genus, group of genus forms the order, group of order forms the class, group of class forms the phylum, group of phylum forms the kingdom. Like this the hierarchical system of the group of individuals groups and that's why I have mentioned in the beginning only that is the species is the smallest unit of the hierarchical or the taxonomic system. Now we have understood what is species everything and we have dealt with the species uh, introduction as well as the definition part. Then what about this term speciation? Speciation is nothing but the arisal or the arise of new species the arise of new species from the ancestors is known as speciation or to be very precise this is the lineage of division of different types of species as you can say suppose this is a ancestral species ok suppose this is the ancestral due to speciation speciation are of different types we will be discussing now only Two species can arise, species A and species B. These different types of species can also arise from. This is known as speciation. Okay. Now we will discuss the different speciation plays a very important role in the gene flow, and this is speciation also is a very important part of our evolutionary process. The evolution or the change which is going on is the speciation plays a very important role in. And today we are going to discuss the different types of speciation and the confusions which we get when we deal with the questions what is the allopathic, what is parapathic because twist type of questions are asked 
regarding this speciation chapter only and this chapter is very important for exam point of view also so today we are going to discuss the different category which diagram i am going to dis explain that what is which type of speciation so let's types of speciation what are the different types of speciation number 1 is allopatic allopatic speciation second is sympatic speciation third is peripatic speciation and the last one is parapartic speciation what is this all about this peripatic parapartic allopatic what is this these are the different types of speciation and each one of them we are going to deal with honest mayor okay honest mayor have given the cause due to geographical due to geographical isolation let me explain with the diagram suppose this is a population this is a large population okay this is a large population suppose what happened due to evolution or due to certain reason all the species were living here this is a one type of species all the species were living here together okay these are the species suppose due to course of time what happened a geographical barrier between this two between the, in the area k this geographical barrier can be anything that is mountain river anything as a result of which what happened this result in the creation of two new species this results in the creation of two new species because due to this geographical barrier species a can't cross this geographical barrier to breed with the other species because there is a gap between the two they can't breed among themselves and in the definition part also have de defined it that the species are the individuals which interbreed among themselves and are reproductively isolated from other group because of this geographical barrier now what happened they can't cross that path to go and breed with them so now what happened this results in the rise of two new species and the due which results in the speciation and the speciation which is caused due to this geographical isolation is known as allopatric speciation sin patric speciation sympatric speciation is nothing but the speciation which is caused due to genetic difference and living in the same so this is an area where many individuals were living okay sympatric means same place in the same place living in the same place due to certain factors maybe the factors may be due to uh, resources competition of resources sexual selection and different factors or genetic change due to genetic change or due to genetic variation living in the same place they have developed different types of species and these species does not interbreed among themselves this type of species is known as sympatric speciation means living in the same place but they are genetically different from each other and are isolated from each other remember allopatric what we have discussed allopatric due to geographical region due to geographical isolation two species was arise but sympatric living in the same place due to genetic variation due to natural selection you can say due to competition of natural resources sexual selection they have started separating for each other and species a will not interbreed with species b or c they interbreed among their own species as a result what will happen speciation takes place okay so remember first of all if you remember the definition what is species then you can get clear cut idea what is speciation allopatric means due to geographical remember this term allopatric means due to geographical speciation due to geographical isolation sympatric means living in the same place remember s for sim s for same 
trick I am explaining because in the exam the question will be asked speciation which is caused living in the same place is known as people get confused student get confused with allopathic and sympathetic peripathic parapathic because they appears to be same all of them are speciation so don't get confused this is due to sympathy okay simple sim s s s for same and for sympathy so remember living in the same place they genetically variable from each other that is in a same place okay suppose these are the individual they live in the same place okay due to certain region due to pollution or you can this first they will be living with the parent species this is known as parent population why it is known as parent population because this is the main population from which they are diverging okay that's why they are known as parent population in allopathic also the beginning they were living together that is known as parent population and due course of time they started splitting up sympathetic also the same thing so this is known as parent population para means what beside para means beside okay so beside the parent population by in the corner okay in the corner if a new species arises is known as is known as paraphytic species this may be due to reproductive isolation may be due to genetic uh, variation or due to formation of new niche if a new niche niche is what the functional area of a species is known as niche we have already discussed so if a new area or a new niche is formed totally new population is formed besides the parent population due to various reason is known as paraphytic species okay now what is peripathic speciation here only i am explaining you okay peripathic means if the living in the same area but the small population of that area is here there is a barrier okay here i have not mentioned here there is a barrier in a small gap will be formed in peripathic living in the same area a small group of population behaving isolating from each from their parent population is known as peripathic so somehow this peripathic is somewhat similar about paraphytic but peripathic what is happening they are living in the same population and they are also isolated but here they beside the parent population by just the side of parent population they are sana living in the same area due to geographical isolation they are living in a separate region this is known as geographical isolation second sympathetic living in the same place but are geographically is living in the same place but are isolated sympathetic same place remember the word same place but are geographic but are isolated species a species b okay then what is paraphytic this is the parent population besides the parent population if new population is formed this is known as paraphytic and peripathic due to pollution or certain thing if living in the same population but small in a small corner new population is formed small corner new population is formed that is known as peripathic so these are the four types of speciation this three are very important that is allopathic sympathetic and paraphytic because regarding this three only mainly exams in exams questions are asked but this is all on point of view and in twist format it, it will be asked in exam so remember it and uh, don't forget to first understand what is species and certain terms like niche and uh, ecosystem habitat all this we have discussed in my youtube channel only you will be finding it so please do check out that part of the video and what is species all these things first you need to understand that then you can understand this word species so this is all about for today so hope in the next part of the video we will be dealing with some other topic till then take care and do not forget to subscribe my channel and share as much as you can thank you and have a nice Thank you.